Welcome back to the Doc's Diagnosis presented by Centris Federal Credit Union. Remember to take a little bit of time and like this video and also subscribe to our channel. That way you're up to date whenever uh, new content comes out. Dr. Rob, we talked about it last week and everybody laughed at us. They said, oh, you don't have to worry about the UCLA running game. They, they, their offensive line isn't that good. We diagnosed some of the exact same things we're going to see today and you took the worst rushing team in NCAA Division I football and you made them look like a really good rushing team. They really did. And I thought their offensive line, when we took a look at, at the plays last week, great job of, protect, uh, of pass protection. You, you've got a team that, and again, you've got some diversity there in the sense that you've got a quarterback who can run. We showed you the big run he had uh, the week before. It was something I was kind of worried about because you've got a guy, he's got some wheels, he's got some speed. He's got some moves, and that's what we're going to look at. He's talking about Ethan Garber. So this was uh, early on in the game. This was in the second quarter, about uh, 10 minutes, a little under 10 minutes to go in the, in, in the quarter. And this is a run that UCLA's already up 10-7. to 7. Nebraska's looking to get a stop here on this one. And what you're going to see is that just Nebraska's bringing a blitz. So you've, you've got a couple of guys coming right here on the blitz. The problem is, is that you leave this big open lane in the middle here. And when you're bringing a blitz, you can't leave open lanes for a quarterback to sneak out of. He's going to get through there. He's going to come up. Great move coming up on the, that you're going to see right on the, uh, um, right on the 50 yard line here where he takes off running. He hits the accelerator, little juke move right there on the 50, and he's off for a 57-yard gain here. And this was big because it set up another field goal and just kind of kept adding to that UCLA lead. Now here is the, uh, the this is the start the second half, and this is Dylan Riola. This could not have been a worse start for Nebraska. It, it really couldn't. This is where, I don't want to say the game got out of hand, but it's where we're seeing again. We talked about the repeated mistakes in special teams. This is repeated mistakes on a learning curve from the quarterback. So on this pass play, he's looking at Fedoni, who's right here. Number 20 is the guy who makes the interception. Great play by 20 because he's, he's kind of got his eyes in the backfield here. He feels Fedoni come out and slip past him. And the moment he feels Fedoni come out and get behind him, he just drops back into coverage there in front of Fedoni, keeping his eyes on the quarterback size, and Raiola telegraphs this the whole way. If you watch, Raiola's going to be watching Fedoni that whole time. He's got his eyes on the quarterback, realizes it, and it's an easy interception, and it kind of goes back to maybe that first interception against Rutgers where you're sitting there going, okay, that's a pass that never should have been thrown. But Fedoni brought him right into position to make that interception. Great move there, actually, by 20 to get to avoid a tackle and get into the end zone. Now, this was a play here where we talked about the running game for UCLA and the damage that it did to Nebraska. And, and this was, was second 17. And it was. This is a big, big stop opportunity for Nebraska. They've given up that early third quarter touchdown on the pick six. You got a chance to stop UCLA here, get the ball back, score some points, and make this a one-score game. And what you're going to see happen is this is just some basic breakdown in fundamentals. You've got some, you're going to see some fairly decent pursuit here. You've got the lead blockers right here for UCLA. Bullock's going to be following those lead blockers. He's going to come up and actually makes an initial very good hit on the running back. The biggest thing that you got to realize is that you, you've got to wrap up. You're going to get in crowds. Butler's going to be coming up here, hit from the side as well. Um, and everybody kind of knocks everybody else off of the tackle. But this is just fundamental wrapping up. Good job stretching it. Hits right there. Should have goes down. Nobody wraps up until he gets about an 18-yard gain there, which ends up at that point giving him the first down. Um, and it just it was a, it was another lost opportunity for Nebraska in this game. Lots, lots of lost opportunities. But let's be honest: if UCLA wouldn't penalize so much with unsportsmanlike conduct penalties, it, it would have been, been much, even worse. It would have been a much worse. Which score. And, and that was something that got brought up a lot with the grades that. When we put those out, everybody's like, well, now you're being too nice. And I'm like, okay, well, either I'm too mean or I'm too nice. There's no spot on. But um, 
Yeah, there was, I think, all three scoring drives involved a penalty to keep the drives alive. So tomorrow on the Docs Diagnosis presented by Central Federal Credit Union, we dive into the Nebraska offense, specifically going for it on fourth down. They were one for three on fourth down against the Bruins, and we'll go into those fourth down plays tomorrow on the Docs Diagnosis presented by Central Federal Credit Union. At Centris Federal Credit Union, our members have trusted us with their finances since 1934. From personal accounts to loan options, we're helping members tackle all of life's adventures. And our great mobile app makes monitoring your money easier than ever. Learn more at centrisfcu.org.